Hello and welcome to France 24. I'm Aurora Dupuis. Let's go straight to our top story. Two of our colleagues, two radio journalists working for France 24's sister radio RFI, have been murdered in Mali. Ghislaine Dupont and Claude Verlon were reporting in the northern city of Kidal when they were abducted by a group of gunmen. French and Malian authorities have confirmed that their bodies had been found dumped a dozen kilometers outside the town. Well, Nicolas Champot joins me now in the studio. Nicolas, you've worked with Ghislaine uh, in the studio. You've worked with Claude on several missions abroad, namely in Libya and in Ethiopia. What were they like to work with? Well, they were, they were friends. Uh, they were very, very good journalists. Uh, we're, we are devastated, and our thoughts are with their, their families. And uh, it's horrible to talk about such things in moments like that. But when, I mean, when we think about their loss, we think of their sense of humor, actually. And, and it's very ironic, because we all want to cry. But they, they had a good sense of humor, we, we, both of them, which proves that they were capable of taking a little bit of a distance uh, from the news. And distance is important. Uh, Ghislaine was a tenacious reporter, uh, always trying to dig for more, to dig for something else, to dig for something that other journalists wouldn't have, uh, to get closer to the action on the front line, but also uh, on the telephone, to find the best source of information. Uh, all the details, all the figures. And uh, Claude Vernon, he, I w worked with him on assignments also, and he was with us. He wanted to ensure that the, the sound quality of our broadcasts was the best. And, and he went to, to, to great length to make sure that it was the case all the time, whether on live broadcasts from a noisy demonstration in Benghazi, uh, but also he was in charge of our uh, special outdoor operations when we would con organize a three-hour outside broadcast from Cote d'Ivoire during the first round of the, the presidential elections. He would, he would work out and, and come up and create and invent an entire studio on a hotel roof in in Abidjan. And he loved Radio France International. Whenever these live broadcasts worked out, he would he would come to us and tell us, give me a five, RFI, we're the best, we made it. He was sometimes even more excited than we were. And we're, we're, we just lost two amazing colleagues. And... The thing is, I mean, it's it's very conventional for us to pay tribute to them and and highlight, you know, what skills they they they, they had, which is what everybody would do. But for us, it's really unfair. It's unfair. They were doing their work, just interviewing people, which is what journalists do. We go there and we interview as many people as we can from all walks of life, all the actors of a story, everybody. And they were preparing a special broadcast uh, for Thursday. Loads of programs were going to go out from Mali on Thursday. And the aim of the broadcast was to interview everybody to give a chance to everybody in Mali to speak. And as a result of this horrible murder, this special broadcast will not take place, which means that the people who wanted to speak in Mali on Thursday, and I'm not talking about the president and the ministers and, and so on and so forth. I'm, I'm talking about the people we had spotted for the, your Joe public, I mean, people from all walks of life who wanted to speak, they will not speak on Thursday. And this is what happens when people kill journalists. People do not speak. Reports go, uh, abuse go unreported. And this is what happens when NGOs and journalists are barred from 
doing their, their work. But we want to be very clear about this, and our CEO has said it very clearly yesterday. We will carry on doing our work. We have two correspondents in Mali, David Bachet and Serge Daniel, who are there, based in Bamako. We have Christine Muraté right now in Bamako. And Paris will continue sending us to Mali to report they will not win. We will continue to do our work, but people have to understand that you cannot just target journalists. I mean, it's one thing to go on the front line and to be injured and maybe killed because reporters take risks and that's part of the job. But to be targeted as a journalist is something that is simply not acceptable and we will not accept it. Right. And just to pay tribute to Ghislaine and Claude, we will go back there as often as we can. All right, Nicolas, keep on fighting for journalists' rights. From all of us here on France 24, our sincere condolences for your colleagues at RFI. Thank you very much for joining us here.